Hello there, and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. So I hope you've been enjoying the ones that I've been putting up so far. Today, we have a rematch. This is Jason! <laughs> and his nids. We're actually playing 2,000 points today. Um, and so we have... What do we have in your list, Jason? For my HQs, I have a Hive Tyrant with wings, two uh, Twin Link Brain Leech Devourers, and he has Hive Commander. Yep. Uh, the other HQ is a Tyranid Prime, Lash Whip Bone Sword, uh, Toxin Sacks, and he has a Death Spitter. Yep. Two, uh, elites, the Doom of Malentine, the Spore Pod, uh, two units of two Hive Guard. Yep. Troops, I have uh, two uh, Turbagons, Poison, Adrenal Glands. Uh, they, they have Catalysts, they're going to be using the, the Tyranid yep. powers. Two units of uh, tur uh, Turbagons, 11 and 12, to make the Turbagons troops. Yep. Uh, four warriors with poison, devourers, and rending claws. Yep. And then for heavy, I have a Carnifex with two uh, twin link brain leech devourers mm -hmm. and two trigons with, with toxin sacks. Okay, that's 2,000 points. Awesome. And my 2,000 points are Dark Eldar. Today, I have Uri and Rakarth leading the army with three grotesques and liquefier in their command barge. I also have my Archon with his Venom Blade because he, if I'm playing Jason, he comes out to play to destroy some Tyranid monster creatures or show so we shall see. <laughs> in a raider with eight witches with actual Hydra Gauntlets. I actually paid for them this time. Ten warriors in a raider with Splinter Axe. Uh, ten warriors on foot with a Lance Blaster. Two Lance, Triple Lance Ravages. One has Grizzly Trophies, I have to put them on. Uh, one unit of three racks. One unit of five racks with a liquefy Gun and a Venom. One unit of five Witches and a Venom. Six Reaver Jet Bikes with a Heat Lance, a Champion Venom Blade. And eight Helions with a Champion with a Venom Blade. And of course, my Razor Wing stock with Disintegrator Cams and Missiles. So that's 2,000 points. Uh, and we'll be back. Right after this, sit back and enjoy. So, Jason has deployed Termagants, Hive Guard, uh, Trigon, Turvagon, Carnifex, uh, Daka Flyrant, uh, Tra Tra Turvagon again, Trigon, uh, Termagants, and Hive Guard. Lots of T's. There is one objective here. We have rolled big guns never time. One objective here. And of course, as you might be able to tell, we're deploying lengthwise. One objective over there. I put my Reaver Jet Bikes over here. It is not Night Fight Turn 1. Ten Warriors with a Blaster and Lance. Ten Warriors with a Blaster and a Smooth Cannon and a ra Raider. Uh, Witches and a Venom. Racks and a Venom. Dual Cannons. Three the uh, Ravages. And then my Archon is actually hanging out with three racks to get a pain token to go in the Witches. And then Urien in the Grotesques as a front. So that's my army in reserve. Jason has kept the Doom in a pod, of course, and uh, Hive Commander has outflanked the Prime with the Warriors. And then, of course, my Razor Wing is in reserve as a flyer, and my Hellions will deep strike in gloriously, as they always do. Stay tuned! We will return. Oh, wait, before that happens, the Dark Eldar, it's a friendly game. We're going to try to steal the initiative on camera. Yeah! Nope. It doesn't happen. We'll be back. The Tyranids moved up, as you can see, in a big line. Catalyst on the Carnifex, Catalyst on the Hive Tyrant, who flew up and killed five of my jet bikes because I thought that 24 plus 18 was 36. And then they ran away. So well, let's see if he rallies. We shuffled a bit to deny the doom really kind of lots of places to land, except on the outskirts. Um, and then everything shot at the Hive Tyrant, who is no longer there. Um, literally everything. Grounded him with the Splinter Rack unit, and then lots of shooting. Eventually the Ravager finished him off. And then I was actually out of range of that, because I didn't really measure stuff properly. And the Reaver jet bike failed to regroup and ran off the table. And now we'll be back. Uh, reserves, he's got the Doom, and he's got the Warriors. So Doom, the Warriors, and the white dice. Both come in, because of hype matter. Plus one to reserve rolls. And he's dead. Everything moved up. The warriors came in. And a combination of shooting saw this warrior squad down to one man who's uh, gone to ground but still alive. And uh, two of the racks got killed and one's fleeing at the moment. Okay, as you can see, Catalyst is on that Trigon, uh, Trigon and Catalyst is on the Carnifex. My reserves, I have Helions showing up. And I have the Razor Wing. 
That does not show up. My army shuffled towards over there, away from the warriors and the trigon, moving up fast. The venoms and the warriors in the raider dropped the turvigon, and the warriors have now aimed a pain token. Um, another news: I killed two, three, wa two warriors uh, with lance fire from the ravagers and the raiders. And then Urien Rakarth got out, charged into that Carnifex, and did one wound with his Iker Gauntlet, which causes instant death, and even with the f got through the Feel No Pain. So he instant killed that Carnifex, and then they consolidated into the building. And then the Helions, who deep struck over here, fired into that Hive Guard unit and killed both Hive Guard. So that was a very, very good turn. But he still has one Turvagon. And he still has his Doom to roll four to see if it comes in. And it does not. Good thing I killed that Hive Command. Everything move up, kill the last warrior. The Hive Guard knocked out that Raider. Uh, the Turvagon uh, pooped out eight Termagants and then charged in together with the Trigon into Urien and his boys, killing two of the Grotesques. Only the Aberration and Urien are left alive. Although Urien has a wound uh, that he took from shooting. Then the Termagants on this end and the Termagants on that end fired into the Helions who went to ground and only killed two. Three in total, because the Helions rolled like nobody's business. So, turn Dark Eldar turn three, seeing if the Razor Wing shows up. And he does. Razor Wing came in hot, blasted that little unit out of the sky. The Helion snapshotted and killed one of those Termagants. In combat, Urien challenged the uh, Turvagon and got a three on his clone field, so the Turvagon just stared at his clones. <laughs> and luckily, the Turvagon passed its save, so didn't die from the Icar Gauntlet. The five little racks charged into the Termagants and uh, killed six of them. This Trigon smashed the um, Aberration. In shooting, I brought the other Trigon down to one wound left, and then the Archon in which is charged in, the Archon did one more wound and finished it. And my Lances finished off the Warriors and the Prime. Okay, and we'll be back after... Oh, and now the Doom does come in. He comes in automatically. The Gaunts fired into the Helions, who just took their Film of Pain saves and lost two. And they passed the morale test. The Archon, the Doom fell down. Uh, and only didn't kill anybody with his main power, but Psychic treats two of them. Then the Pot actually killed quite a few. But they passed the morale test. Urien is still with his clone field, stuck in combat with that Turbigon to the dismay. To the dismay. <laughs> Which is really funny. See, if that was a prime, he could heroically intervene and try and stop that. And then the hive guard that's in there fired into that venom. And over here, the eight gaunts that that pooped out uh, ran in and killed three. And then the they, the racks now fearless because they uh, killed the two that they were in combat with. The Archon uh, moved up past the Doom, only lost one witch in the Doom power. Charged into the Trigon to then kill two witches, and they fell back. Urien, still cheating death with his clone field, <laughs> survived the uh, the Turvagon not hitting with the smash attacks, even though he rolled one on his clone field. The Helions uh, charged in, lost one, and uh, they stayed. In, the Turvagon stayed in combat. I have a rack that Turbo boosted up um, in that Venom. The Hive Guard is still alive in that building, and then I have two Ravages in the backfield. Those witches in that Venom and that Warrior Raider unit moving over to the flank. And we're moving on to Tyranid, turn five. I killed those Gaunts, the Helions consolidated an inch. Urien Rekar finally exploded the Turvagon with his, uh, with it got through the Feel No Pain. One Feel No Pain had to be made. It exploded, killed a few Gaunts over there. Now the Trigon can attack him. But Urien's sitting at five pain tokens. <laughs> Uh, the Archons continuing to run. Okay, so my jet's gonna come back on. It's turn five. Dark Gelda. Turn five. Are we calling it? <laughs> okay. And it's over. Uh, Urien decided to pop the Turvagon. I mean, the tri the Trigon. He's just walking around, killing stuff. He's got a little pain train back there. And then everything else is just kind of maneuvering. I took that objective with those witches over there. Took that objective with the lone rack. Uh, didn't shoot them off, but the warriors were up to get that objective. Anyway, so yeah, uh, Jason, any last, any words? Urien's a badass. Urien is a badass. Yes, he is. <laughs>
That was awesome. His clone field, like tying up so he killed a Carnifex, a Trigon, and a Turbigon. So he did like six hundred points worth of damage. Awesome. And okay, well thanks a lot for watching. You can check out the blog for daily content. You can always uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's almost seven hundred subscribers, so be one of the first to check it out. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Scarring out.